<laughs> okay, guys, if this is in the right order, then you don't have to introduce yourselves, okay? Is it? They don't know. For one minute. I was dreaming of a new United South African society. The next, I was on my way to the police headquarters with a big white cop on the other side. Well, that's life in the RSA. They took us in three cars. That cop, Klaassen, came to identify us. He looked me over and said, this is the cop we have been waiting for. And you know, I was wearing my nice new boots and he said, yeah, and where did you steal those boots from? <laughs> I thought, shit. <laughs> they led me through a lot of clenching gates to myself. There was a young girl spread in midst there. For a moment, I was pleased. Perhaps there was going to be company. But the girl moved down to some of ten, and the door was locked. And there was only me in that cell. Men do not understand what mothers are. I'm not different from other women, except in the wrong done me and the wrong I did, and my very heavy punishments and great disgrace. And yet, to bear you, I had to look on death. To nurture you, I had to wrestle with it. Death fought with me for you. All women have to fight with death to keep their children. Death, being childless, wants our children from us. Jared, when you were naked, I clothed you. When you were hungry, I gave you food. Night and day, all that long winds, I tended you. No office is too mean. No care too loud for the thing we women love. And oh, how I loved you. And you needed love. For you were weakly. Only love could have kept you alive. Only love can keep anyone alive. And boys are careless of him. And without thinking, just give pain. You know, we always fancy that when they come to main estate and know us better, they will pay us, but it's not so.
If I could get you to taste the way you talk. If I could refine out the ladders from out of your soul. Tell me. If I was white, would I stop intimidating you? So you could hold me through the night, clasped to your chest. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it saddens me more than you can ever know that I wasn't able to be here to see my father before he passed away. As most of you know, I was in America studying how grateful I am to have had a father who knew the importance <coughs> of education. Some of you wouldn't have dared send your kids far away just to study. But no, my father did. My father was a great man. My father was a wonderful man. Yeah. I've heard all the speeches that you have done, saying all the lovely things and wonderful <coughs> things about him. How lovely of a father he was. And how great of a husband he was. Yeah. That's my father. You thought you knew him. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I know I do not have much time to speak, but since I've been given the opportunity, I might as well. My time in the United States wasn't so great. In fact, it was, was poor. But my father was there for me. He came with all his fortunes and paid for all the therapy sessions daily. And when my mother broke her ribs, my father was there too. He paid for all the medical bills. He sent her to the best hospital in the country. Sent her fresh roses every day. And those were imported by the way. He even bought my younger brothers a Range Rover just to make them feel better since mom was away. Sick. You think he knew my father? I knew him. I knew very well. 
My father and I had a strong, strong bond. He knew me. He knew me inside out. Because my father, your hero, he raped me. Yes. He raped me. Not once, not twice. Many, many times. I hate that man. I hate him so much. I don't know how you can come up here and say all these lovely things about him and glorify him. Glorify him more than you glorify God. How dare you? I hate my father. In fact, I wish that tonight, I wish that the dogs could, could dig up his body. Dig up his body and tear it up for the rats and the roaches and every single insect in the ground to eat him up, to eat every flesh of his body. That is how much I despise that man. Now I'm done. You can all say all the lovely things. He is the noble boy. <laughs> 